Okay, uh, I told you at the beginning that uh, in my mind there's nothing more difficult or nothing easier to make on uh, the potter's wheel than a bowl. At the same time, there's nothing more difficult to make on the potter's wheel than a good bowl. So we're going to take it to a leap into making bowls this evening. I'm starting with uh, one and a half pounds of clay. Uh, just like my cups, I found that that's a, a good sized ball uh, for my usual soup or cereal bowl. So we're going to take this pound of a half clay and throw a, a standard uh, soup bowl out of it. It all starts the same. We're going to get it centered up and then we're going to start by shape, opening it up and beginning our shape. Okay, and I'm going to open this up. Now I like bowls with round bottoms. Uh, I just think they, they work better, they clean better, they uh, serve better. Uh, so I generally almost always uh, make my bowls with a rounded bottom. Uh, to accomplish that, instead of pulling flat like we've been pulling, I'm going to pull more of a bowl shape when I open this up. And so that the bottom has a shape like this to it instead of a shape like this to it. This is my favorite rib and favorite rib for throwing bowls. I'm going to use it now to establish the curve on the inside of my bowl. And so I have a shape just like the bottom of this rib inside my bowl. Now I'm going to pull up the sides of the bowl. And when you're pulling the sides on the bowl, you want to uh, uh, start in the middle, at the very middle of the bowl, and you make your pull from there. So I'm going to pull in over and lift up the sides of this bowl, keeping that rounded bottom in mind. Again, this is just going to be a modified cylinder. You'll notice down here, I'm leaving quite a bit of clay. That's to support the edges, the walls of the bowl, so they don't collapse during the throwing. Then I'm going to leave some extra clay here at the top, because in a minute we're going to widen this out, and we'll need that extra clay to make our rim. I'm going to pull one more time. Always compressing the lip when we get there. And now I'm going to start to, to move my bowl out. Take my rib again and use this shape that we've used to establish it to get the curve in the rest of my bowl. Now I'm going to take my flexible rib and just smooth up the curve on the outside of the bowl. Press that lip one more time. Now I'm going to take my trusty piece of plastic and dress that edge to give it a nice dishwasher safe edge. A couple of little decorative lines. Just the bottom. And we have our standard super cereal bowl. Okay, this is another bowl shape that I like to throw. Uh, it's a little bit more of an oriental shape. Um, it's good for rice and a, a serving dish. Starts out the same. I've got an inch, a pound and a half of, of clay here on the wheel. And this bowl is going to start just like the other one did. So 
open it up. Leaving a little extra clay in the bottom so we can put a decorative foot on it. And again, I'm going to open it up with more of a bowl shape opening than a flat opening like we use in our cups. And I'm going to use my rib and establish that curve on the inside of my bowl. This is also compressing the clay like we did in our cups. Okay, now I'm going to uh, pull the walls of this up. some extra clay at the top so we have plenty to work with when we start stretching it out. this particular style of bowl we don't need as much clay at the bottom to support them as we did on the other shape so I'm going to remove some of this clay here at the bottom now we're going to start moving the <coughs> bowl out Using the flat side of my rib, press against. A little bit of a wiggle in it, so we can take that off. So that gives us a nice flare serving a rice bowl. Get, or clean up the top just a little bit. Call it good. So next Monday night we will start out by trying to make a few bowls. Y'all come in and practice and we'll see you then.